Hey guys, what's up? Chana here again, and today we're gonna look at another recap of season two. This one is for day two. So I got my Baba over here on Paragon 313, which is not too bad, not too bad. Um, we got a little bit of gear. I'm having some problems with a few of the slots. I'm having a real difficult time with weapons. Um, and this is actually good to talk about because this happens and a lot of people are asking like right now what weapon should I use what's better this or that and I actually went ahead I got a lot of gifts so I was able to test a few extra things so I wound up actually uh, my friend a monk wound up getting this Azurath because I could not get anything I mean the best I had was an ancient two-hander like nothing special about it just like a warmonger kind of crappy Monk friend got this ancient Azurath. As you can see, it rolled not so bad. I just had to re-roll, like, at, what was it? Area damage to strength? Okay. And then I went ahead and crafted an Utar's Roar. Utar's Roar is kind of like a Devastator, but it's a cold version. Alright, so I'm in a cold build. Right now, I was doing some greater rifts. So I was leveling up my rift gem and... I mean, my, uh, my gems. I have my... Bane of the Trapped, my Pain Enhancer, and my Toxin are all nice and leveled up. I got this ridiculous Zafarian Amulet, and it rolled so good! And it came with Intelligence, so... <laughs> I have an Attack Speed, Crit Damage, Crit Chance, Cooldown, Zafarian. I mean, I guess it works, right? It's got the trifecta, I just gotta sacrifice the Toxin Gem. Um, I did manage to get a 6 second Pride of Cassius. So that's a nice end game piece. My Raycor pieces are looking pretty damn good. Uh, my boots need a little work, but my gloves are looking good. I got my Vile Wards. They're not great, but hey, they're Vile Wards. Uh, you know, I still got my Ancient Pardon Defenders. Got this Trifecta. I do have one Unity. Like I said, I have a couple of gifts. I got a Star. Star. An Ancient Star. And it rolled Poopy. As you can see here, quite the poop roll. All right, and yeah, so I had a bunch of like non-ancient like things like Maximus. Like I gifted this just to see like, is the Maximus with the fire chain and using a two-hander, is that really gonna be better than dual wielding? Um, trust me, dual wielding isn't that great, especially when you're dual wielding weapons like this, but it's sufficient. I mean, compared to like, I even have a, a furnace. And I'm not, I'm using this dual wield combo over the furnace that I have. And I'll show you why in a second. Now, if that furnace rolled a little better, if I could find it, <laughs> if the furnace rolled a little better, I probably would be using it. I can't even find it, guys. Anyways, I got a furnace really early on, Paragon 80 or something like that. It came with intelligence so since it came with intelligence right here i had to re-roll the intelligence to strength i'm getting tons of intelligence gear hey hey diablo uh here here's a quick fact i'm not a wizard i'm a barb stop giving me intelligence gear <laughs> so i got an intelligence furnace so what that meant is i couldn't roll the area damage right there to percent damage Rolling percent damage would take this 3.3 to like a 3.6 or 3.7k. And then having the elite damage on top of that is really, really good. But it's not the case. And without the percent damage and with the stats being so crappy, I don't find this being worth using. I've played around with it. I've played around with the Maximus, played around with the other weapons. And I still like feeling it out, looking at the damage numbers and everything. Um, seeing where I'm getting in greater rifts, doing trials. The dual wield is currently just a little better for me. Unfortunately, so that's the thing. Like, if you get an ancient one-hander, you can craft another one. You got the Utar's Roar, which rolls with cold skill. You got the Devastator, that rolls with fire skill. So, you know... If you get a Burning Axis Ankis, you get an Azurath, you get a Rhyme Heart, you get... And there's a lot of different things. A Sun Keeper. 
you could go ahead and just craft one of those other ones you're good to go you are good to go so that's pretty much where my character's at i've completed uh greater rift 36 not really all that high on the leaderboards so yeah i haven't been pushing the leaderboards i think you know pushing the leaderboards early on i feel like i'm wasting my time because when i get all my gear like in in a week like all those leaderboard spots they're not even gonna matter so leaderboards right now little silly um but yeah that that's pretty much my character um, let's go ahead and switch over to my T6 gear. So, what I would be using, I would, I would switch out this Chilean chain. Um, do I want to do that? Uh, the Toxin Gem is nice. I might leave that Zephyrian. I mean, that crit chance. That one's a little more damage, actually. without the cooldown yeah you know what let's i don't really need that not for t6 okay um i got these pants these are good i just gotta re-roll them all right so not really which else i'm gonna change here that's about good then it just comes down to getting more cry impunity getting sprint run like the wind Lots of movement speed here. I'm gonna swap that over to Call of the Ancients. Council rises. Uh, Battle Rage Bloodshed out here. And there we go. That's the way I like it. Um, not really using Life for Fury, so. I'm using a little bit, but to go with the Berserker's Rage. And I'm pretty good. Now we can just go ahead and pop that E6 Rift Key. Boom. And let's see where we're at. Oh, by the way, um, let's go ahead and look at Season 2. And right now I have almost... 48 hours. Well, now I do have 48 hours. If I reset the game, I'd have 48 hours played on the Barbarian so far. After, you know, basically two days. Well, it is Monday, so season came out Friday. It's just the hours I've been putting in have been ridiculous. But as you can see here, you know, the dual wield I got going on is not so bad, right? Killing that goblin pretty quick. Mmm, legendary goblin. One-shotting a lot of these mobs. I'm not happy with my weapons, but hey, they work. It always comes down to um, just making the best out of what you got. You just gotta be happy with what you got. Make the best out of it and keep playing, keep farming, and eventually the other stuff will come. Like, I, I have friends who have not even like a quarter of my play time. And they already got their ancient furnace and all that stuff. And yeah, it blows, but if the game wasn't RNG, it wouldn't be as fun. So, odds are you're going to be one of those people who doesn't get everything they need the first day. <laughs> It's alright, there's plenty of time in the season, guys. Plenty of time in the season. You'll get it. As you can see here, though, even with this really mediocre gear, I'm in T6. I'm tearing it up. I don't have a furnace. I don't even have an ancient two-hander. And I'm rocking T6 pretty hard right now, so... It just kind of goes to show, right? Probably be smart to hit my battle rage. Wall. Alright, alright. Go, go, go. Ch 
chests, guys. Chests are amazing. Pop them. As you can see, the movement speed, I have tons of cooldowns, so I got this 70, 107% movement speed, sorry. I was just trying to show the movement speed. But 107% movement speed, and that's pretty much permanent, because I have over the 50% cooldown reduction for Warcry, so Warcry is under 10 second cooldown, and it lasts for 10 seconds. And then my belt gives it extra move speed, so I run around at, you know, twice the movement speed as normal. And I could also give that movement speed to my group, so really, really, really great. A moment of truth, I should have probably save my cooldowns for the boss but okay definitely want to pop the cooldowns together the boss is where I'm gonna hurt the most I mean obviously right not so bad though not so bad about that not bad at all guys that was just a few minutes pretty efficient gears looking pretty good less than 50 hours in and yeah everything's going pretty good guys so um if you want come check out the stream um got a lot of cool stuff going on i'm gonna be playing for probably another 20 hours tonight plus um, well, actually, no, I'm sorry. I can't do that because it's 10 o'clock. I have to leave So I'm probably only gonna be able to put in like 10 hours Unfortunately, I yeah, I went to I had to go to the doctors today and I went all the way to the doctors and They were closed for President's Day and I had to go from Queens to Brooklyn and Coney Island and then I got there and it was below zero, like literally below zero, not not like figurative, figurative, literally, it was below zero degrees, it was that cold out, that's freezing to me at least. So I'm like, hell no, I'm not taking the bus back, I had to go in a cab, it cost me like fucking 50 bucks, and now I gotta go back tomorrow, so, yay, yay, anyways, yeah. <laughs> That's my video for tonight, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you found it helpful, if you want, like, subscribe, share, comment. It'd be much appreciated, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.